Small Business for Dummies, Second Edition, by Eric Tyson, is a comprehensive guide aimed at individuals who are interested in starting or who currently run a small business. The book is packed with practical advice on a wide range of topics necessary for managing and growing a small enterprise effectively. Eric Tyson uses an accessible writing style to cater to entrepreneurs of all levels, from novices to experienced business owners who are looking to sharpen their skills. In the initial sections of the book, Tyson emphasizes the importance of assessing whether starting a small business is suitable for a person's skills, interests, and lifestyle. The author discusses the common traits of successful entrepreneurs, such as passion, motivation, adaptability, and willingness to take calculated risks. He also encourages self-reflection, advising readers to consider their reasons for wanting to start a business, as well as to realistically evaluate their own strengths and weaknesses. Tyson guides readers through the process of developing a robust business idea. He advises on brainstorming and research techniques that help identify market needs that the entrepreneur is uniquely qualified to meet. The book covers methods for validating the business idea through market research, competitor analysis, and gauging the potential demand for the product or service. Once the business idea has been refined, Tyson focuses on the importance of formal planning. He explains the components of a solid business plan, which serves as both a roadmap for the business and a persuasive document for potential investors or lenders. The author outlines how to cover executive summary, company description, market analysis, organization and management, service or product line, marketing, sales strategies, and financial projections within a business plan. The critical matter of financing the business is tackled comprehensively. Tyson discusses various sources of capital, including personal savings, loans, grants, angel investors, and venture capital. He delineates the pros and cons of each source and provides guidance on preparing for funding pitches and negotiations. Additionally, the author offers valuable insights into managing cash flow, budgeting, and maintaining a good credit score. In running the business, the book underlines the need for excellent bookkeeping and accounting practices. Tyson demystifies financial statements such as the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. He explains the significance of each and details how they can be used to make informed business decisions. Topics such as pricing strategies, cost management, and financial analysis are also covered, showing how they contribute to a business's profitability and sustainability. Human resources is another important area discussed in the book. Tyson addresses the challenges and responsibilities of hiring employees, including creating job descriptions, interviewing candidates, and understanding labor laws. He provides advice on building a productive team, fostering a positive workplace culture, and handling difficult personnel issues like employee discipline or termination. Marketing and sales strategies are thoroughly examined by Tyson, who emphasizes that understanding the customer is the cornerstone of both areas. He suggests dynamic marketing approaches including online marketing, social media, advertising, public relations, and networking. For sales, Tyson advises on developing effective sales techniques, customer service practices, and building long-term customer relationships for repeat business and referrals. For operational aspects, Tyson offers advice on selecting a business location, choosing suppliers, inventory management, and setting up efficient systems and processes. He explains the virtues of leveraging technology for productivity, such as utilizing software for customer relationship management, CRM, project management, and e-commerce. The author doesn't overlook the maze of legal and regulatory requirements that small business owners must navigate. He touches on the different forms of business ownership, sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, and limited liability company, LLC, and the legal implications of each. Issues such as licenses, permits, zoning laws, and taxes are well explained, helping the reader to understand the necessity of compliance. One of the final topics Tyson delays with is the issue of risk management. He emphasizes the importance of safeguarding the business with the right types of insurance, such as property, liability, workers' compensation, and health insurance. Additionally, the book encourages entrepreneurs to establish contingency plans for potential crises that may disrupt business operations. 
As the book nears its conclusion, Tyson covers ways in which business owners can plan for their eventual exit from the business, whether it is through selling, succession, or closing down the business. He offers insights on how to value a business, prepare it for sale, and navigate the negotiation process with potential buyers. He urges owners to consider their exit strategy early in the life of their business and to continually revisit and adjust this strategy as necessary. Throughout Small Business for Dummies, second edition, Eric Tyson advocates for a realistic, well-informed approach to small business management. While he acknowledges the challenges and risks involved, he also conveys optimism about the personal and financial rewards that successful entrepreneurship can bring. The book is filled with actionable tips, cautionary tales, and a wealth of wisdom distilled from the author's own experiences and expertise in the field of small business. The guide serves as a manual for aspiring and existing small business owners, offering a clear and concise framework to help them navigate the complexities of starting, running, and growing a business in today's competitive environment. Tyson's practical approach, combined with his focus on critical business practices, ensures that readers will come away with a thorough understanding of what it takes to create and sustain a successful small business. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.